What is up guys, Zach here from the Chaos Galaxy and today I'm going to be doing a full tutorial on how to make your own holographic trading cards like the ones you see here and this can work for cards fully done on the computer, cards like mine where part of the template's done on the computer and the cards are hand drawn or just fully hand drawn cards uh, like this one here. Before I jump into it, if you want to support my trading card game, the Chaos Galaxy TCG, there'll be a link to the online store in the description below where you can get your hands on some packs. Really appreciate anyone supporting the game that way. But apart from that, I'll get straight into this tutorial. So I'll start by going through a list of everything you need to make your own foil holographic trading cards. First thing you'll need is a computer. The second thing you'll need is a printer. Uh, doesn't matter what printer, as long as it prints A4 color, but obviously a better quality printer will mean better quality trading cards at the end result. You'll need some uh, epic trading card artwork. Today I'm gonna to be using the Chaos Galaxy card Tech Dragon. You can either just have the artwork like this, which you put on a digital template, or like one of my old trading card games, you can design the whole card by hand and use this. I'd more recommend though to do the template on your computer. You'll need some foil card. Um, this can be any color, like gold, silver. I like this holographic card that you can just buy from any kind of stationery store or online for about $5. You'll need some cutting tools, either scissors or I prefer a ruler and a knife because it gives you a nice clean cut. However, if you're a younger viewer, always get help from your parents at this stage. Or nowadays, to be honest, I just use my phone. Just upload it onto your computer. Make sure you're in a nice bright room with even lighting so the white background uh, doesn't come out dark. So once we have the photo of our artwork here, we're going to go ahead and put it on the template for our trading card. I've made one up on Photoshop here that I use for all my uh, Chaos Galaxy cards. We'll just put the image in like this. And now if you don't know how to use Photoshop or don't have access to it, then don't worry, there's plenty of free online versions of Photoshop. Uh, Pixlr.com is a personal favorite of mine. You just click on create new here and then put the dimensions of the size of the document you'd like. The set dimensions of a trading card are 2.5 by 3.5 inches, which is 750 by 1050 pixels. And there you go. I'm not gonna like teach you guys how to use this now. Uh, I've got plenty of tutorial videos on my channel, um, but this is how you can make the background for your trading card. So I've got this image on Photoshop I'm going to kind of resize it and delete the background and stuff so that it fits onto my template background nicely. Play around with the brightness and stuff. And eventually we come out with an image like this. So if we were printing our card without foil, this is exactly what we'd want it to look like. However, I'm going to go slightly into the science of how printers work to help you understand this process. So if any of you guys have ever refilled an ink cartridge in a printer, you'll know that there's yellow, magenta, which is like red, cyan, which is kind of blue, and then black ink cartridges. There's no white. Printers don't generally print white. So anything we print that's white on this card will be left uh, clear or transparent where there's no ink. And this is gonna leave space for our foil to shine through the card uh, and give us that effect that we want. So make some areas white where you think it'd be cool for the foil to shine through. So I've come up with a few options here to show you what the foil will look like. So I've got one option here with very little white and um, there won't be too much foil showing through the card. Got one option with a bit of white that will hopefully make the artwork pop out with a shiny background. And then an option with loads of foil that's gonna be showing through for an extra shiny card. And when I print these out at the end, if you wanna to go to the end of the video to kind of see the effects that these three different cards have to figure out how much foil you want on your card, um, then go ahead and do that. And also because we're printing on an A4 sheet of paper, A4 sheets generally have the space to fit nine trading cards on. So you've got lots of room for error and you can test out loads of different ways of doing your foil. You've got like nine different opportunities to do well. So once you've got your card templates, you're gonna to want to save them out to JPEGs or PNG files are fine as well, um, like these files I have here. And then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and put them into a Microsoft Word document or pages. Sorry, I'm using pages because I have a Mac. We'll just drag and drop the images in and then resize them so that they are that 2.5 by 3.5 inch trading card size um, so it can fit in card binders or card sleeves um, or like in deck boxes with all your Pokemon cards or Yu-Gi-Oh cards or whatever. So this is the sheet we're gonna be printing. 
I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up with lots of other trading cards so I don't waste all this paper here and the expensive acetate that we'll be printing them on. Okay, so before we get printing, you need to be very careful with this acetate. Um, this is what we're gonna be printing the card on, which is a see-through film, and then we'll be sticking that see-through film over our holographic cards so the holographic bit shines through our transparent image. But you need to be very careful with this stuff because you because loading it into your printer, always read the instructions. Now the pack I've got comes with this guideline here, so follow your guideline that comes in your pack as it might be different to mine. But you can really only print on this stuff on one side. So if I take the sheet here, so it's telling me to print on the side facing you when the rounded corner is on the left. Uh, so that's the rounded corner. So we need to put it into our printer this way up. So I'm gonna load the acetate into my printer. Try and make sure not to get your fingerprints on it because it'll kind of, you know, like touching a photograph, it might smudge things. i um, also gotta remove this bit of film here, which I need two hands for. Uh, because obviously we don't want this on our trading cards. So I've filled out my A4 Word document with trading cards that we're going to print onto the acetate. I've got some of my other favourite Chaos Galaxy cards and I've removed bits so that hopefully the foils shine through and I can find the coolest effect. Uh, but we're going to go File, Print. Uh, it says, so printing page one or two, there's this blank sheet here. So we're just going to print page one because we don't want to waste acetate on nothing. Um, and then you can change the preset so like your you do fine printing rather than just draft printing and this will make your paper better. But obviously every print is different so I won't go into detail on this. And then we're just going to press print. Acetate's going in. And now don't be disappointed if you can see it coming out the printer and it doesn't look very clear. Obviously you can make out the tech dragons here but they, they don't look very bright at all. But that's fine because the foil shining through this acetate will make them look amazing. So as you can see here, I'll put a white background on, but all the areas we left white on the screen uh, do not show up on the printed card. So even if you've drawn your own homemade trading card on white paper, uh, the white paper bits won't show up. The next stage is sticking our printed cards onto the foil sheet. Now, I've got a glue stick here, however, I think double-sided tape would be better for this. And what you want to do, you have to be quite precise with your glue stick because you only want to stick down bits of card that have ink on them. So if we take one of our Tech Dragon cards here and we rub glue all over the bits without printed ink on, you're just going to see kind of smudged glue around the back of the card. So this is why I do a lot of kind of grey borders on my card. So this is where I'm going to rub the glue and I'd recommend you guys do the same. Also, obviously, make sure you glue the right side. Obviously, you can see the images on both sides, but um, make sure to not glue the side that's the right way around. Uh, glue the backwards side here. It doesn't matter about going over the edge on the corners of the paper because obviously we're going to be uh, chopping the borders of the acetate sheet off at the end anyway when we go to cut out our cards. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but you can kind of see I've rubbed glue just on the borders of all the cards. And then we're gonna take our foil sheet, make sure the cards are the right way up. The alignment doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna be trimming off the edges anyway. And stick this down nice and firmly. It's best not to use your hands, uh, use like a cloth or something so that you don't get your oily fingers all over the cards. But once you've stuck it down nice and firm, fortunately there's a few small areas where, like down here, where glue has snuck onto the border of the card for me. Um, but that is kind of okay. But the next step is to cut these cards out and then we're done. Wow, and there we go. There's our foil finished cards printed off and cut out. I actually don't think the Tech Dragons came out as nice as uh, like the Chaos Beasts that I did, for example, from the Chaos Galaxy. They look awesome. And actually, the hand-drawn card, I think, came out really well too. Super Flooper here from my old game, Elementals. Looks very nice there. And we've got a Pelfam and an Omnius, also looking very cool in the foil. 
because these are handmade as well and held together with glue, I always think it's nice to um, give them sleeves as well. If you use the dimensions that I uh, talked about in the video, these should fit into standard sized trading card sleeves. Cool, so there we go, all sleeved up. You can draw your own designs on the back. Alternatively, you can print your designs on the back of the holographic card. However, from my experience, printers don't tend to work very well with this shiny holographic foil. Also, it might be quite difficult because you can't see through the sheet to align like the front of your design with the back of your design and cutting it out might kind of lead to alignment issues. But that depends on your printer at home. Um, so that's why I've not included this in the video. But there we have it. We have the not very foiled version of Tech Dragon. Well, it's still really shiny, but um, but not so much white here. As you can see, obviously the foil does shine through uh, the blue and gray template as well. We then have the medium foil version with the stars all shiny as well. And then the maximum foil version here. And I think what looks really nice is like um, his energy beams that start off not foily at all on the sides and then get really shiny as we go into the center. So this has been my guide on how to make your own foil trading cards. Let me know what you think of the tutorial. Let me know if you think this is helpful. If you've got any questions, please let me know in the comments uh, and I can help you out if you're struggling with anything and obviously uh, other people who are struggling with the same issues might be able to find some answers there too. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at ChaosGalaxyTCG. If you want to support my game, the Chaos Galaxy Trading Card Game, where you can get non-foil versions of all the cards you see here, then please um, head to the online store in the comments. Follow the Chaos Galaxy Discord, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.